Well, welcome, guys. I just wanted to draw your attention to some of the most amazing news that I think anyone delivers on Football Manager, and that is the Locomotive Sophia new intake of youth players. I don't know if any of you saw, but on my Twitter, I posted out that we had a who they were. So we got given a golden generation, and as you saw on our, on my Twitter, if you had seen there. Um, if you don't, the Twitter is in the link on the description. So make sure you go and check my Twitter out, as I post up a lot of stuff to do with the save. And hopefully you guys will enjoy what I post out. So here we go. The first one is Ilya Velkov. He's a 15-year-old regen here. And um, very, very solid, I think. There's a few things that obviously want that throw me off a little bit. Is his aggression. Um, his acceleration, agility, balance isn't great. His physicals aren't great. His mentals are okay. Determination's good and teamwork. Marking, passing, tackling and heading is all good. He's five foot nine, so... To be fair, to have that is quite good. A jumping reach isn't great. So overall, he's meh, I'd say. He's all right. He's not great. He's not bad. So let's see who the next player is. That's Ruman Minyahov. He comes in and he is a winger. And five foot seven, believe it or not. He's crossing of seven, dribbling of se uh, crossing of six, dribbling of seven. First touch of 12, uh, finishing of six. So he's not great. Free kick taken of 12. So he's quite a free kick specialist. Um, technique of nine. Oh god, his, his mentals aren't great. Aggression's all right, and work rate's okay. He can't bloody see. Um, flares all right. Oh no, flares crap. Basically, everything. Bravery and determination are good. So pretty much, he's just a determined winger, and he's just very, very quick. And he's got no stamina, so he just dies on the pitch. And uh, so, well, there we are. There's our player. He's our right midfielder, and we've got Bozidar. We've got Bozidar Karachanov. He comes in as a six foot centre back with 17 aggression, 11 work rate and 11 positioning, tackling of eight, marking of seven, heading of eight, jumping reach of 12, natural fitness of 16. So very, very, you know, decent for a centre back at that age. Strength of six. He's got no strength. Um, stamina of 11, agility of 10, balance. So overall, he's got OK. He, he's all right in the positions that he needs to be and, he's, and he can grow. So that's good to see. And he's balanced. And I think also with Ilya Velkov, he's fairly determined. So those will that will really impact what's in the are. He's balanced as well. So I think everyone's decent so far. And here we go. This is pretty much where we start to see the drop off in players. And Jose Manuel Calvo. The Bulgarian winger, defensive winger, he is uh, okay. He's not too bad. Obviously, he's got that. He's going to have areas that need to improve. Determination of fifteen, teamwork of eighteen, work rate of thirteen, aggression of ten, acceleration, pace, jumping reach of one. So he can't jump to save his life. He's unambitious. I didn't see that. So that was Georgi Petrov, and we have Eugenie Evgeny Burasov. He's a right back. Crossing of seven, dribbling of three, first touch of 14, so he's pretty decent. Finishing of six, free kick taken of three. No, he's all right. He's not great in every category. He's okay. All right, he's not bad. And then we have... Doo -doo 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 -doo. We finally... This is when we start to see the drop-off. And here we go. Svevan Shopov. He's an advanced playmaker. Oh, goodness me. Teamwork of 19, vision of 14, work rate of 14, flair of 13... He doesn't actually look too bad, this chap. He looks pretty decent and someone who can develop into something quite useful in our team. Hopefully, I hope he does. And he's unambitious, so hopefully I can change his mindset on that one. And then we have two strikers, I believe. Uh, oh no, sorry, we've got another defender in Ilyan Zekov. Uh, he's a central defender, heading of five, great. Marking of six, tackling of ten. Oh, this is really ill for, for goodness me, he's ginger as hell, like me. Uh, aggression of 12 and work rate of 15, jumping reach of 13. He is 5 foot 11 and ambitious, so that's great. Overall, this isn't really the golden generation that was described. How are our strikers? 16 year old, oh goodness me, to be fair, bloody hell. Uh, you're unambitious as well, so you've got 12 dribbling, 10 finishing, first touch of 12. Teamwork of 16, aggression. You're actually not that bad, to be fair, and you can. To be fair, you're not, you're not that bad. Uh, you can develop into something decent, hopefully. You haven't got that great in potential. So uh, who's on the next one? This is uh, Dibitop. Yeah, you, you, you're you going at the end. Fucking hell. So I don't think I'm going to be taking many of these players. Um, obviously, the guys with a lot of potential are probably going to be coming in. We're just going to we're just going to give them all contracts and see where they go. But there's our um, golden generation. Not so golden. And our players are a little bit crap, if I'm being honest. 
And um, what we'll do, we'll take them aboard and um, welcome all of these players. You'll most definitely, hopefully, in the next couple of seasons and, ep- and sort of when the uh, seasons start to improve, you should be hopefully be able to see them. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this uh, reliving and the recap of the under 19s. And to be fair, our under 19s are actually performing very, very well. Um, we've got a 16 year old winger in there with uh, Trenchev. I think he's one of our own. Yeah, he came from our last game and he's been developing. Look at these men, these physicals, man. He's so good physically. Um, and to be fair, some of his mentals as well are pretty decent. Like, I wouldn't expect big, big things from, from a uh, wing winger and a wing back. I think I've got him on a uh, full back on attack. So I think he's just sort of developing because uh, I wanted to see if I could get him developed into a full back um, just to see if he potentially could go on to be in. Uh, in that area and just to sort of give him a few more games in that position because I think if we had someone who was that pacey in fullback position with a crossing of six and dribbling of nine um I think he would be very very good and so there we are that's that's sort of the um that's that is sort of our development center and the youth candidates so I just wanted to go over to you about our youth intake but with that in mind let's go back onto the video and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the next game. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're tuning in from, welcome back to the channel. My name is ASFM, welcome to Season 3, Episode 7 here with the Railway Men and Locomotive Sophia. I'm so excited to be bringing you this episode as this is the game and where we can potentially secure the European Places Playoff Final against, I believe it's probably going to be Levski and... Um, well, the way this season has gone, I think it's been uh, I think it's been a really decent performance. I think, you know, if we have a look on the schedule here, we can discuss some of the uh, reasons why I think it's gone well, some of the reasons why I didn't think it went so well. Um, so you obviously came back for the Levski and the Botev game. We unfortunately lost both of them games on that episode and I was really quite pissed off because, you know, I just didn't, I don't enjoy bringing you guys content where I'm just constantly losing. It annoys me and probably just as much as it makes it boring for the episode. So we come into this game and um, we basically we started off our first league second phase split with a game against Slavia Sofia and we absolutely tore them apart. We beat them 5-1. And this was a phenomenal game from my players as Nikolov, Nikolov, Burakov, Yordanov and Hubchev on the score sheet. Yordanov getting on the score sheet as a young... Well, I didn't realise, if you look at the stats, nine, nine on shots on target, six... Uh, nine shots, sorry, six on target. Yordanov obviously getting himself on the score sheet as a six... You know, he's a 17-year-old. Um, obviously, I've got his acceleration got up. His, his acceleration is now at nine. Natural fitness of twelve. Stamina of eleven. Um, accelerate uh, agility of eight. So he needs to just start off to pick them up. But hopefully, he can start to come round. He had five appearances, one goal, obviously in this game, and uh, so he's not been very prolific, which is a bit of a shame. But hopefully, he can just you know keep improving. I might loan him out next season if he doesn't start to pick up the pace. But Hubcheb. He came in and scored, so it was another one of these games where it was midfield, defence and strike force all getting on the score sheet. Then we came up against Mignor Pernik. This was a game where, again, it was a must win. We we just blew them apart. I think this was a really good game, really strong performance. I don't even think they got a highlight. Um, and Burakov on the score sheet, Stanchev and Simonov again. Basically, Simonov has just turned out to be a youngster out of nowhere who has just blitzed this league and... You know, really, really hoping that uh, he can go on to be, you know, phenomenal. And I think he really can. He's got the, he's got the physicals. He's got the uh, mentals in the right spaces. Just a few of those technicals just need to start keep improving. But he's got so much time on his hands. I think he will, and um, hopefully he can go on to become a uh, really, really, you know, pivotal piece to this engine that's the locomotive Sophia squad. So. He's done fantastically well, and uh, who is it? Stanchev also. He's come in and he's been he's been really good this season. I have to admit, up playing up front, he's done really well. I, you know, I was I wasn't shocked. Uh, he wasn't going to blow us all apart. He wasn't going to blow this league apart. But twenty one appearances, seven goals, three assists, three player of the matches. He's he's turned up when need to be, which is really good. And then we came on to the last game before I started this episode, which was the CSKA 1948, where um, I think this is the game where, oh, we just could not get a stance in. So they went and scored, we then scored, they then scored, we then scored. Um, but Burakov and Nikolov, again, getting on the on the score sheets. Nikolov is another player who's just been absolutely phenomenal 
for this squad at 19 years of age. He's got himself quite a few, uh, 46 appearances, six goals, and he's considering whether or not he should be starting for a bigger club. But, I mean, I've got him until 2026, so we can think about that for a long time. But 22 appearances, five goals, three assists, two player of the matches. As a midfielder playing in a, Ma in a Mazzala role, that is absolutely phenomenal. And um, he comes in, he's just been absolutely brilliant. And so today's episode, we have two games for you potentially three if need be but this is going to be the big one it's the Minyor Pernit game um, where we play them to potentially secure ourselves that first league match and uh, not sorry not the first league match sorry it's the uh, European places playoff um, and now if we have a look because obviously this is the second phase if we go to the championship phase Levski are pretty much holding it bare unless Barui can start to pick up a bit of form and go and win because they've, they've done not too bad but um, Ludogorets and Botev are really really gunning for that title I think it's probably going to be Ludogorets so they're going to edge it again and get another another you know championship underneath their belt and um, so we currently just go into this one we just need to win this game we've got 33 points our closest rivals are uh, CSK and Minyol Pernik so if we win today we will guarantee ourselves this spot so this is absolutely huge so as I said going forward going into this game we are still going to be playing a different bit of formation so um, if you have a look at our tactical formation we're playing a 4-3-3 DM narrow um, it's really high pressing and uh, also counter attacking when need be but we've got Vlad in that deep line playmaker role Kostov in midfield is a box to box I think I might take him out um, who can come in and fit the role I mean, Todor can, but he's not great. Steph is obviously out injured, but I want to try and uh, develop this youngster um, at the age that he is. He's got he's already at second league level and hopefully can fit the bill. Then we've got Nikolov in that Mazala and Vlad in the deep line. Playmaker, as I suggested, these midfield is a fantastic trio. They've done phenomenal so far. Then we've got Papazov, Stanchev and Burakov. Papazov is another player that I'm thinking I might actually go and take a gamble on if he starts to perform a bit better. I'm going to think about taking him on and potentially and potentially bidding for him as uh, they want about 150,000 whereas we've only got this season I don't think we've got that an awful amount of money this season obviously we've got nothing but hopefully next season he should be able to potentially I might place a bid for him and Burakov has just been absolutely phenomenal this season take a look at some of these stats you know 27 appearances 21 goals five assists six player of the matches he is absolutely pivotal to the way that we play. So up, up top, that's the up top. And in the centre back and mid and the wing back positions, we've got Hubchev in a full back position. Stoev, Kusev and Bustinov and Vassal in goal. He's just been phenomenal. Um, and Starev in, on the bench. He's someone who needs to be loaned out next season. Hoping in that he can become the player that Vassal has become, which is an absolutely phenomenal. And I think it definitely has to be go down as a legend for this club. Uh, right, okay, so let's proceed to the match. Uh, nine players are lacking familiarity with the formation. I don't understand why when we've been playing this formation for what best past of seven, eight, nine games. <laughs> so anyway, let's go into this game. And um, what I'm going to say to the team going into the dressing room here is uh, I'm going to point my fingers. Let's give ourselves something for the players to push on. And I'm going to say mid defenders, I've got faith. Midfielders, I've got faith. Attackers, I've got faith. And hopefully Kostov's just absolutely aggressive because he's got 19 aggression. Just going to skip through these. I don't really care about them. But here we go. Minyol Pernik. They've had their recent form. Three losses, a draw and a win. And we come into this game with ooh, two losses, two wins and a draw. And uh, this is going to dictate whether or not we're going to Europe, even if we can successfully go on and do it. As you know, as we can see here, 43 points. If we win today, we will get that European Places playoff uh, final to play against the Championship group, which I believe will probably be Valevsky or Barui. So here we go. Four minutes in a first highlight for our club and it gone straight to Hubchev. And Hubchev can take it forward and Nikolov's there. Nikolov can go all the way, where's he going to? Into Vlad. Vlad over to Ahmed. But Ahmed can collect for Lokomot uh, for Minyol Pernik, sorry. Todorov is there. He's managed to get through. He fires one over to Koliev. But Hubchev's there again. And Nikolov can come and take claim possession. Stoev back to Hubchev. And uh, hopefully we can start to push forward here. Ball's gone all the way back to Kusev. He's managed to reclaim possession. It's a bit all over the place at the moment, but can we get a bit of uh, you know movement forward towards their areas? Nikolov comes forward. He fires a ball out to Hubchev. Fantastic ball out there to find him. Hubchev with the delivery, and Burakov's there. Oh, no, it's just gone wide. 
But five minutes in, you know, we were starting to really dictate this game, hopefully, and, um, you know, really see this game out. As I've just seen CSK Sofia, um, uh, CSK 1948, sorry, have just gone on and scored. So we need to ensure that we do win today, as I'm going to encourage the boys, hopefully that gives them something to, to push on for. As uh, 25 minutes in, we've got a highlight here as Hubchev can deliver a ball, hopefully onto Burakov's head. He fires one in and Ahmed's there and here they come on a counter-attack, I'm guessing, as Kolilev is coming all the way for. Oh my Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Oh my goodness me, who was 15? Busting off, mate. What are you playing at? You need to get... Flipping heck, you need to get closer to that. He just stood there and just watched the ball as the player just glided past him. It's just like, what are you doing? You know, stick a leg into it. Do something. Don't just stand there. Um, right, okay. So here we go. We've got a highlight in the 42nd minute with Stoev. He fires the ball to Nikolov. And uh, we're just sort of dictating that midfield area. And Vlad is now... He's, I didn't realise Vlad's actually on a yellow card here. But Vassal comes and collects. And uh, hopefully Vassal can uh, pass the ball. He probably plays it to Kusev and Kusev into Vlad. Vlad fires a ball all the way out to Papazov, but Ahmed's there, it's just so pathetic, it's not needed, and Georgiev is there, but Nikolov gets the ball, and hopefully here we come, as Nikolov can come forward, he's just shot for no reason, what are you doing, Nikolov, you've got to play that, fuck's sake, uh, and uh, 46 minutes in, we might actually have a chance of going into half time with a goal up here, as Hubchev can come forward, Hubchev fires a ball in, and Burakov's there, and boys hit the post, Oh, he aimed for that far, he aimed for the near post and it didn't go towards him. And uh, here we go, half time, we've made it into half time. Nil, nil here. As uh, hopefully, you know, we go into this dressing room, we've got to really start changing things. I'm going to say I'm not happy with your performance out there. Everyone's motivated going into second half. Hopefully we can start to pick things up. But bloody hell, come on boys. You haven't really been playing at your, at your top points, have you? As Jigila, what the heck, Kiki can come forward. He fires a ball in and Stoev's there. Stoev clears it and now Stanchev. Can we go and counter-attack here? This is like, oh, what a ball into Burakov. Burakov's in, he's got to score. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, Papazov can reclaim possession here. He fires a ball out to Hubchev and Hubchev into Vlad. Vlad now goes all the way to Kostov. Kostov now. He fires a ball to Bustinov, Bustinov to Burakov, I think Burakov was offside to be fair. No, Burakov into Bustinov, Burakov now, into Vlad. Goodness me, we're really sort of in their area. Kostov can go forward, what's he going to do? Fires a ball back to Vlad, Vlad into Stanchev, into Burakov, back to... Oh my goodness me, we're, we're all the way in their area, but the ball's gone off. And Mignor Pernik survive. But goodness me, we've been all over this team, not going to lie, I think we've been absolutely phenomenal so far. So I'm going to encourage the team, we just haven't been able to capitalise on the uh, on some of these um, you know, highlights that we've been getting. And uh, Bussinov going for glory, you know, you've got to start getting these on target, as we're just not going to capitalise. And uh, we really need to win this game, I have to admit, we're going to go a bit more attacking here, I'm going to berate the team. I'm going to actually I'm going to demand more. I don't think they really deserve to be berated. But here we go. Let's see where this is going to go. As Stanchev can claim possession and Burakov can come forward. Goodness me. Can we get a good delivery into the area? As Burakov's coming all the way forward. He's just sort of hovering at their half. And he fires a ball into Stanchev. Oh, goodness me. And no, no, no. Here they come. Oh, shit. No. Dejila's coming forward. Bustinov is not even doing anything. But he tackles him. It's a cool... What the hell? What was that all about then? Um, I'm not too sure. Kelly Olev can fire a ball in, but Stoev's out. He's injured a little bit. As Mitev's there, to Oh my god, it's a... F what? No way. Papazov has just put his body on the line there. Oh my goodness me. What defending. I think it was from Papazov. That is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we're lucky enough to just get ourselves back in this game. But goodness me, this could have gone either way as I can't believe what has just happened. And here we go, 84th minute in, Hubchev into Nikolov. Can we go and score here into Hubchev? Hubchev, what can he do? Fires a ball to Vlad. Vlad now fires it up to Hubchev. Hubchev to the delivery and Burakov's there. Burakov fires and it's over the bar. When are we going to start scoring? Because I can't be fucking bothered with this bullshit. Right, encourage this team. 88 minutes in here. We've got to go and capitalise. Hubchev to Nikolov. Come on, boys. One win away from this, and Kostov is there, Kostov now, what's he going to do, 
He's going to fire the ball. He hits it. It gets defended. Hupchev's there. Oh, my God. Hupchev's just hit an absolute belter. And we're going to potentially got the chance. Oh, my God. we got the chance to potentially go and win. And oh, my God. This actually puts us in a European places playoff final. And we've secured it if we win here. Can we hold on for the next, goodness me, three minutes? Oh, my God. I can't believe Hupchev has just absolutely lasered one into the top right. Oh, my God. It's full time. Get in. We've done it. We've got the European places playoff final secured here. And we potentially have got ourselves into Europe if we go and win. What a game. What a goal. And what a fantastic play that has been done from this team. I cannot believe it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and fast forward to some of these games. And what I, what I think after this, I'm going to do the main event. Um, so we've secured ourselves the European Places playoff final. And uh, Hubchev is the man of the hour. Absolutely fantastic play from him. And um, we secure ourselves the second... Oh my God, we potentially have the chance of going back into Europe next season. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely incredible. Well, you know what? I think, you know, as I said, you know, at the moment, we've done what we've set out to do on this episode. Um, should I theoretically, I'm going to go and do these two games and we'll be back for the final episode of this season before. Obviously, there'll be another episode afterwards, but it will be the final game episode where we have the chance in the European Places playoff final to secure ourselves, oh my God, second season running in Europe and a chance to go on into the Euro Cup 2 again and play through and potentially, who knows, go into the actual group stages of it because we got so close, we tasted it. But unfortunately, we couldn't get through in the Hammerby game. But there we are, guys. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you've liked the youth review at the beginning. Um, so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're notified. So whenever I post out a video, you're going to get that. You, you're going to know when I post it out. And um, yeah, as I said, you know, this has been an absolutely fantastic achievement. I'll see you in the next episode on season eight, on season three, episode eight where we play in the playoff final to potentially go on into Europe for next season. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.